Dub Nation, what a win for the Warriors last night on NBA opening night against the Los Angeles Lakers. So the Warriors beat the Lakers on the floor. Let's beat them with subscribers as well. The Lakers report still ahead of Warriors today by about 16,000 subscribers. So if you want the best Warriors news and rumors coverage right here on YouTube, smash that subscribe button down below. Welcome into Golden State Warriors today by Chat Sports. I am your host, Chase Senior. Coming up on today's show, a lot of monster performances from several different Warriors against the Los Angeles Lakers to tip off the NBA season. A fantastic win for Golden State, and you saw a lot transpire on the floor. Warriors winning this one 121 to 114. Steph Curry, 21 points, 10 assists, and 10 rebounds. Jordan Poole was fantastic. 20 points on the night, 16 of those coming after the break. How about the job that Nemanja Bialica did coming off the bench? I think this Warriors roster is very, very deep. They have a lot of complementary pieces, and that's not something you could have said about this basketball team in years past. LeBron James, Anthony Davis, they were great combining for 34 points and 33 points respectively. Carmelo Anthony coming off the bench to chip in with nine. But unlike the Warriors, the Lakers did not have a lot of depth pieces chipping in for the big victory. My biggest takeaways from this win, and we're going to kind of go through all of them on today's show, it's Jordan Poole, the preseason heater that he was on, didn't end up being a fluke. Got off to a little bit of a slow start, able to finish really, really strong. He was excellent in the third quarter, even better in the fourth quarter. 20 points on the night, as I mentioned, 16 points coming after the break. Nemanja Bialica gave this team and Steve Kerr clutch key minutes, especially down the stretch. He was part of the five players to close this game for the Warriors. As for Andre Iguodala, he signed with Golden State the same day as Kelly Oubre, made up for that subtraction and looked like quite an addition. Looking spry, looking young like the old Iggy who is winning NBA Finals MVPs. Damian Lee giving this team monster minutes down the stretch as well, which was really a pleasant surprise for me. And we'll get to a quote from Steve Kerr later on on today's show about the Warriors' depth. But very, very evident that Steve Kerr has a lot of lineup versatility that he can go with. As for the starting lineup against the Los Angeles Lakers, this is what Steve Kerr did go with. Steph Curry, Jordan Poole, Andrew Wiggins, who I thought played well, especially late at that three spot, Draymond Green at the four, and Kevon Looney. Man, he's just such a glue guy. I love him on this team because he just seems to fit so seamlessly in no matter who he is playing with. Let's get to Jordan Poole because he was by far the biggest NBA preseason winner. And I love the confidence that he took the floor with. Look, he was going, against, uh, going up against LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and there were so many expectations for him being in that starting lineup in place of Klay Thompson. He didn't hesitate at all, folks. 20 points, 8 of 18 shooting, 4 of 11 from deep. Had a really good defensive play, a little block and deflection on a Russell Westbrook lay-in. Also came through with one steal. What I was eager to see and what I was anticipating from Jordan Poole and what I was kind of curious about, how is that preseason play going to carry over into the regular season? And was all of this talk about Jordan Poole being the third Splash Brother actually going to come to fruition? He looked like a Splash Brother out there because he was letting it fly. He didn't let a couple of misses affect his confidence at all. Jordan Poole is just a straight-up hooper. He put the ball on the floor. I liked how he was able to contort his body around the rim, and he was letting it rip from three, and he was ripping the net from distance as well. So great Jordan Poole's performance last night in the season opening win against the Los Angeles Lakers. A, B, C, D, or F. Be sure to get those votes in in the comment section right now. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's video, so if you get hit with that YouTube ad break, scroll on down and get your votes in. Maybe the biggest surprise for Golden State, it was the play of Nemanja Bialica. When he signed with Golden State in NBA free agency, I had thought, okay, a floor-stretching big who can put the ball on the floor just a bit. He's going to be able to give this team some quality minutes. I just didn't know how big of a role he was going to play, but it's almost as if Nemanja Bialica is a secret weapon for Steve Kerr. He certainly was last night. Now, he didn't get the start. He came in off the bench, but I kind of like him in that role because he gives you versatility as a big man, and he was downright fantastic. 
fantastic. 15 points, 11 rebounds. He was cooking with 6 of 7 from the floor shooting, and he was a ridiculous plus 20 on the night, by far the best among everybody on the entire floor, not just the Warriors roster, the Lakers roster as well. And it was actually a historic performance for Bielitsa in his Warriors debut. The first double-double for a Warrior off the bench since going back to 1981. He can play a little five. He can play a little stretch floor. I expect his role to evolve over time. He was part of that closing five, and Draymond Green very impressed with his contribution saying this after the game. With the Manu's shooting ability, guys are really running him off the three-point line. For him to have the ability to put the ball on the floor like that and kick out, that's huge. He made a lot of plays for us tonight for himself and for other guys. He was a huge reason we pulled this game out. Bleeping plus 20? That's incredible. And yes, it was simply incredible. If you were impressed by Nemanja Bialica's debut in a Warriors uniform on the road at the Staples Center, going up against a loaded Lakers team, spam NB in the comment section. I want to see a bunch of Nemanja Bialica initials, so go ahead and do that right now. If you bet on the Warriors to win this game as underdogs, you probably had a nice payout. If you want to make some bets in the future, you can do so. Chatsports.com slash bet. Enter the promo code CHAT125 for a 125% deposit bonus. This deal from our sportsbook partner, BetUS, the best deal that any sportsbook has to offer. You put $100 into your account, you get an additional $125 back. at chatsports.com slash bet. Enter the promo code CHAT125. A couple more performances to get to. Andre Iguodala, another signing that kind of flew under the radar. We knew that he was going to bring this Warriors team a lot of defense. He put the clamps on a couple of guys late in this game last night. He was part of the rotation late in this game as well. And I thought Iggy really looked spry. He looked energized. Maybe he's rejuvenated going back to the Bay Area where he had so much success. 12 points, 4 of 7 from the deck, 2 of 5 from deep, his plus minus at plus 8, a pretty good number for Andre Iguodala. Make sure you subscribe to Warriors Today by Chat Sports because we're going to continue to push out videos like this in addition with hitting you with the latest Warriors news and rumors, breaking news as well. So hit that red subscribe button down below or go to youtube.com slash Warriors TV. Going back to Andre Iguodala's performance, chime in, sound off. Are you getting jiggy with Iggy? Shout out to Will Smith. What a legendary song back in the day. Type Y for I'm getting jiggy with Iggy. Type N for no. You got to type your Y's because how are you not getting jiggy with Iggy? I was really impressed with this five-man complimentary kind of lineup that Steve Kerr went with prior to the Warriors closing five being on the floor. Now, this group really was able to take the lead against the Lakers and then help maintain it, and it was a pleasant surprise for me because when you look at it, Jordan Poole, Iggy, Otto Porter, Damian Lee, Nemanja Bialica, you're not like, okay, this is a star-studded five-man lineup here, but they were able to hold serve against a lineup that featured LeBron James and Anthony Davis, and I thought they played very, very well to build upon that Warriors lead for then the closers to come in out of the bullpen and close the game. These were the five closing players for Steve Kerr last night, and it was really the normal rotation, except Jordan Poole went to the bench because Steve Kerr elected for more defense. He made up for that lack of offense by putting in Steph Curry, and it really worked out seamlessly. Steph Curry, Wiggins, Damian Lee, Draymond Green, and Nemanja Bialica playing the small ball five to close out this game for the Warriors and seal off that dub. Steve Kerr on the Warriors' depth, which really has to be such an advantage for him, considering this hasn't been the deepest team the last couple of years. Steve Kerr said this, it feels like five or six years ago when we just have guys up and down the roster who can play. I mean, we have guys who are injured who can play. I think we're really deep. That right there is a credit to Bob Myers for how he's been able to build this basketball team. You knew the starting five with Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and Klay Thompson once he comes back was going to be good. Love the minutes from Andrew Wiggins last night. Kevon Looney serviceable, but Jonathan Kaminga didn't play. Uh, Moses Moody barely played. A couple of other guys on this roster, like a James Wiseman, also didn't play as well. That goes to show you the depth of this team. 
So now the Warriors go from this win against the Lakers to playing the Los Angeles Clippers at home on Thursday night. Before we get out of here, get your predictions in. Who you got in this second game of the season? Warriors, Clippers, get those predictions in right now. And thanks for watching today's show.